Thank you for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields on this Saturday. Watching this system here spinning up. Not a lot of action with it overnight. It will miss the Caribbean as we go throughout the day today and tomorrow. It's going to start to take that turn back to the northwest. Things are right on track from what we've been talking about together over the last week or so. Another system building in the Pacific. I want to get to that. And look at this, these strong tropical waves out there. Now, the models haven't really been picking up on them. And again, a lot of action flaring up. The Canadian model has been been insistent on uh, developing a couple of these as they come off the coast of Africa. I'll keep an eye on that. Again, that's way down the road. Not all the models doing stuff with those. There's still a lot of dry air out there. But it's this system here, again, Central Atlantic, that will start to make a curve. Here's Bermuda. I want to break down the uh, computer models with that. And you can see over the next 12 hours. Now, as you watch this with me, it is still generally going to move off to the west toward the Caribbean. But tonight and tomorrow especially, gradually taking that turn and then a bigger turn and I'll show you why in a second and then it will kind of curve just off to the east of Bermuda and to the east of the Atlantic region of Canada with that said there's another system in the southeast US I want to show you that in a second that could actually spin up near the east coast so I want to get into that east coast of the United States now the modeling on this system that we're watching that's trying to develop over the next 12 hours, uh, not seeing it becoming a name system, not really over the next 24 hours. These are the models. As you go out in time, so you have 12 hours, 24, 36, 48 hours, or two days, and it shows the strength. Again, the white shading as we go out in time, that's not a uh, uh, tropical storm, but the green shading, once it bumps up into that, at about 60 to 72 hours from now, so a couple days from now or so, a few days from now, it should become a tropical storm, and then kind of hold that status as it makes its curve. So again, I don't just look at the computer models. I look at the strength down the road, the environmental conditions. There's a lot going on out there when it comes to the weather. Now, here's the system and you can see it. This is by the time we get into tomorrow. I want a wide view here and stop the clock. So again, this is four o'clock tomorrow. Now, another thing that's interesting, by tomorrow, it'll make its turn. Here's Bermuda, the Bahamas. This spin that worked into Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas yesterday, look at that. By the time we get into Monday, it may have actually develop. So there's actually a chance there could be a, a brief name system just to the north of Bermuda watching this here. And then as we go out in time, as we work our way into Monday and Tuesday, again, all making that curve. So again, we could see an area spin up somewhere in here. And again, that system that should become Emily, if not the system coming off the southeast of the United States, that could also spin up into uh, Emily. So again, we'll see which one tries to develop first. And then down the road, keep an eye on these stronger tropical waves. You can see again, one coming off the uh, coast of Africa, but I'll put that on the uh, back burner for now. Watching the winds. Here we are in the Caribbean. Here's Jamaica. Here's Belize. I want to get into a bigger system uh, in the eastern Pacific in a moment. Now, as we take you out in time, again, watching this getting better organized as we go throughout the day today. You see the white shading showing up in our wind markers? Those are winds 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. Kilometers an hour and 50 miles per hour on that. So by the time we work into early next week, especially Monday, that's when it should wrap up. But look at that, that little spin just to the north of Bermuda. That's why I was mentioning there is a chance. I know uh, a lot of, no one's really talking about that. There is a chance that actually spins up north of Bermuda and also kind of heads generally out to sea. My friends in Canada, keeping a close eye on you, keeping a close eye on Bermuda as well. So we have this old system along the east coast that is kind of protecting the east coast of the United States. Here's the Caribbean, and this will help us in the Caribbean to allow this to make a curve and even miss Bermuda, but all this action up here could also spin up. So again, watching two spots there in the Atlantic. Now I mentioned the next name on the list is Emily. So again, there's two areas I'm watching. One again, pulling off the United States and of course that big tropical wave we've been watching the last few days. If one gets a name, the next name is Emily after that Franklin. So there is a slight chance we should get we get two named systems uh, early next week, uh, but uh, most likely just Emily. And then I'll keep an eye on what's going on off the coast of Africa. Now here's the wide view. We've got a tropical wave uh, moving through the uh, Caribbean. Now here's that spin I was just talking about. You see that here? And again, that spin there is over land now, but that's about to move off and that's what could also develop. So that could develop. And again, watching that spot right there and then look at 
at that big blob here. That was that strong tropical wave that moved into the Eastern Caribbean days ago. That looks like it'll develop. I'll get into that. I want to talk about that in a second. Look at this rain. We had some rain overnight. Been watching the comments spit up uh, uh, last night with you. Watching some thunder. We have thunder and lightning as well moving through. Venezuela, we've got some rain. Cuba, not a lot of action now. Scattered showers were near the Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Still some scattered showers near Haiti this morning. Puerto Rico and over toward the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. We had that flooding, unfortunately, in parts of Honduras, uh, Nicaragua yesterday. El Salvador, Guatemala, again, still the flood potential. And my friends in Belize watching out for that high chance of rain. Northern Honduras over toward Rotan, watching that up through the uh, Yucatan. A lot of action as that tropical wave slides by. Now, as we take it through the day today, Eastern Caribbean, scattered showers. Barbados, St. Lucia, some scattered showers. Jamaica could see a passing shower. Tons of rain. Central America watching Belize. Rain chance is up. Flood potential, Guatemala, El Salvador, even Costa Rica, Panama. Still some of the scattered showers and storms. ABC Islands, not a whole lot. Taking out in time, watching the system over here. Eastern Pacific trying to develop. And then scattered showers here. And there goes that strong tropical wave moving up to the northwest by the time uh, to the northeast of the Caribbean. Caribbean as we work our way into tomorrow afternoon. And you see the green on the map, scattered showers. Colombia, Venezuela, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, a few showers. Grenada, Montserrat, we could get a passing shower. Over towards Saba, St. Martin, and uh, St. Bart's tomorrow. But again, nothing too widespread. As we work our way into Monday, we're going to be tracking again scattered showers around. Uh, spotty in nature, Puerto Rico, back toward Antigua and Barbuda. And again, a little more action across Central America, Cuba and the Bahamas some passing showers. Jamaica, one or two isolated showers and storms by Monday. And then I'll be watching what's coming off the coast of Africa to see if any of that action wants to spin up. As promised, eastern Pacific side. This big blob was the one that moved all the way through the Caribbean. Now, crossing Central America, flood threat again still this morning, Guatemala, parts of El Salvador. Now, as this moves off, I do expect it to develop. Now, it's going to most likely get a name. It'll get a name on the Pacific, Eastern Pacific side. There's two lists. I'll show you that in a second. Now, if there's a name system, just for reference, in the Caribbean, and it holds together as a classified system, rolls over Central America into the Pacific, it would keep its name. But this has not been classified on the Atlantic Basin side. So again, once it moves into the Pacific, it'll take on the Eastern Pacific name. So again, there's different lists all around the world. So as we work our way into the storm names for the Eastern Pacific. And in the Eastern Pacific, they're still called hurricanes. Other parts of the Pacific, they're called typhoons. Uh, Dora, that is the next name. It does look like that strong tropical wave that moved through the Caribbean and Central America will become Dora, but it will then pull away from land. So it'll be pulling away from Mexico. All right, rain chance. It is high in Belize today. We're looking at that 70 to 80% chance. Please keep me posting in the comments. This is a weather community. It is for you. So if you have any of the isolated flooding, leave your location, leave what's going on. Or if you've got sunny skies, a lot of us baking in the heat, heat advisory in effect today for Puerto Rico. So let us know what's going on as well, uh, no matter what you got going on. Isolated showers and storms the next couple days in Jamaica, about a 30% chance. Cayman Islands, again, a little action around this morning. Rain chance holding at 30%. The Bahamas, 30% chance through this weekend into early next week. And as we work our way into the Turks and Caicos, a little higher today about a 40% chance. All right, Barbados today, again, not a washout, but there's going to be those scattered showers and storms around at times, a 50% chance today, a 60% chance tomorrow, and about a 50 to 60% chance early next week. St. Lucia, 50% chance today, 60% chance tomorrow, and a 50% chance on Monday. Again, not all day, not all of us get the rain. It's not a 100% chance, but there is some activity around in the Eastern Caribbean. Trinidad and Tobago included. 50% chance across Trinidad today, a 60% chance of rain and storms tomorrow. A little more moisture for us in Trinidad and Tobago as we work our way into our Sunday as you head off to church. Isolated shower on our Saturday in Dominica today, 50% chance for us in Dominica tomorrow. And as we get into Grenada, rain chance about 50 to 60% through the weekend 
into early next week. As we work our way into St. Vincent and the Grenadines, 60% chance today. We had a little rain late yesterday and last night. 50% chance uh, tomorrow and a 50% chance on Monday. Guadalupe and Martinique, rain chance 40% today. 50% chance Sunday and Monday. So again, some passing showers. Could get a thunderstorm or two. Puerto Rico, super hot. Rain chance is down only 20%. So again, that means the temperatures are up in those heat advisories in place. Same thing, U.S. Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands, rain chance at about 20%. A 50% chance of scattered showers and storms today in the Dominican Republic. Isolated Sunday and Monday. Tomorrow, a pop-up storm possible. Few showers and storms this morning in Haiti. So this forecast has already panned out. 40% chance today. There's been some stuff around. 30% chance uh, tomorrow and Monday as you get over toward uh, Port of Prince, down through Jacmel. Aruba, rain chance very limited. We need some rain in Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, and that rain chance, it is super low. 10, 20% chance as we go over the next few days into next week. St. Kitts and Nevis, rain chance 20% chance this weekend, 30% chance on Monday, and a 30% chance of a few passing showers today, Antigua and Barbuda. Working our way into Anguilla, rain chance 30%, and again, that big tropical action staying off to the the, uh, east. So I'll keep an eye on that, of course, for any changes. St. Martin, Sabin, Stacia, 20% chance today, 30% chance for tomorrow. Costa Rica, that rain chance is high. I was showing you that. Again, some isolated areas of flooding across Costa Rica. Panama, of course, Guatemala, El Salvador, watching that flooding around this morning. Northern Venezuela, rain chance not super high. We've had a few areas of rain, 30, 40% chance, and a 60% chance today and tomorrow in Guyana. Suriname, rain chance about 30 to 40 percent for today and for tomorrow. So again, busier pattern as expected as we go from July into August. We've got that new system that will try to miss the uh, Caribbean. Also watching that spin off the coast of the United States. Still those areas of heavier rain, especially in parts of Central America. Strong waves. I showed you that right at the beginning of the video coming off the coast of Africa. Still a lot of dry air out there. So models kind of go back and forth on the development. I'll be watching that very closely and we're about to get into the busiest time of of the hurricane season. So again, lots to track, uh, but again, no, no huge red flags out there. I'll keep uh, watching things behind the scenes 24 seven for you. I do this channel for safety. So again, any questions, let me know. Uh, what you got going on in the comments, let me know. Share this channel with others, it is for you. Hope you have a great day ahead.